Mesa Verde National Park in southwest Colorado is a vast system of deep canyons and isolated mesas. Early man first inhabited the mesa tops and then the canyons. They eventually evolved into a unique civilization. About 10,000 years ago, early hunters roamed the Colorado Plateau region. Then about AD 550, a people known as the Modified Basket Makers built permanent semi-underground pit houses. They were simple structures made of poles and logs and covered with juniper bark and mud. Beginning about AD 750, their descendants built surface structures on the mesa tops. Several centuries later, other Puebloans built Farview House, one of the larger mesa top villages. Water, though seldom plentiful, played an important role in the life of the early Puebloans. Mummy Lake, a man-made reservoir, collected water from runoff. The earliest pit houses consisted of a large chamber dug several feet into the ground and a smaller antechamber. Later, the Puebloans built kivas, which were underground religious chambers. AD 750 saw the beginning of Pueblo construction. By AD 1150, some of the Pueblo people began to move under the canyon rims, and by AD 1200, construction of the large cliff dwellings was underway. Spruce Tree House is the third largest and best preserved of these spectacular Pueblo villages. At 86 feet, Square Tower House Ruin is the tallest in the park. The Puebloans may have moved under the cliffs for protection against some feared enemy, or perhaps as shelter against the elements. In December 1888, Richard Wetherill and Charlie Mason came upon the ruins of Cliff Palace, among the largest cliff dwellings in North America. In 1891, a young Swedish scientist, Gustav Nordenskjold, introduced the Wetherills to systematic archaeology and record keeping. This led to the establishing of Mesa Verde National Park in 1906. Popular Balcony House was built on a high, easily defended ledge. A three-foot high wall was thought to be built to keep youngsters from toppling over the cliff. Long House, as its name implies, is a long dwelling and is the second largest ruin in Mesa Verde. Never completed, the Sun Temple was the peak of the golden age of Pueblo culture. Suddenly, for no certain reason, it was over. The early Puebloans vanished, leaving their great cities under the cliffs to slowly crumble away. Now, partially restored by the National Park Service, they stand as a glorious monument to these incredibly talented people.